It just keeps snowing and snowing and snowing. I think it's time for another tabletop video. I can't stand intros. Based on the current weather conditions, I thought I'd open up this box with this Topps MSK 2.5. I'm going to use the Topps to find some more Topps. I'd say we're about ready to start this video. Greetings everyone, I hope you're having a super fantastic day wherever you are. Welcome back to the channel and welcome if it's your first time here. In this video, I'm gonna open up a couple of these boxes of Topps knives. I'm going to just quickly look at them for the first time with you. And then I'm gonna do a follow-up video on each one of these knives. Plus I'm gonna show you all the Topps knives in my collection in another video. So if you like Topps knives, you might like the series that's eventually gonna unfold. Let's start off with this one here, Street Scalpel 2.0. Test out that whistle. Okay, so these bands, looks like they're a leather material. And there's some adjustment in here. So depending on the size of my belt, I can make them larger or smaller. So an American flag and a Topps logo here. Seem okay. Good, good snappy uh, retention. I don't know about this here. This probably will come off, but let's take a look at the blade. I'm gonna put my hand inside that groove and see how it feels coming out. It's got a bit of a ramp here as well. Not bad. It's got a good snap. There's absolutely no movement. And I'm looking at this for the first time. The first thing I'm zeroing in on right now is the edge. And I do like how it is even on both sides, except for maybe right about here. It's just a little bit steeper than on this side, but not much. Lynn Thompson used to say, uh, testing the point at this location is what he used to do. It's got some red liners. And that is a black micarta. And those are hex or Allen key. Don't know the exact size yet. And tops USA on the other side. Wow, that feels pretty secure, pretty secure. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm liking that one right now. I'm, there's another street scalpel. I'm glad I picked up this one with the finger choil. The original street scalpel is a lot thicker blade stock, but yeah, I like this one. Made the right choice, I think too. And I like the sheath on this one. So let's put the street scalpel over there. Let's open up the next one. It's the cut 40. Most of you who are watching this video right now <clears throat> already know about these knives. Again, we've got another whistle. Same concept with the sheath. I like that. I already see this. I already know where I'm going to wear this. Nice sheath. I have never had a problem with the way uh, Tops does their sheaths. Let's look at the handle. We're looking at a brown canvas micarta with another red liner. Let's see how this one feels. Oh, that was a nice snap. Let's go back into that again and see if there's any rattle. Nope. This thing is solid. And there we have the cut 4.0. Again, I'm looking at the edge geometry from one end to the other. You be the judge. It looks pretty darn good from where I'm looking right now. Made in the USA. Both of these blades is 1095 carbon steel. Got some kind of a black coating on here. Now without using the ring, I feel extremely um, secure. In this position in the hammer grip, feels a little bit odd there. Almost feels like it needs to be inside the ring. Yeah, this one feels extremely, um, the word I'm looking for, it feels extremely confident. Let's try the uh, Lynn Thompson test. Good acute point. I think this is called 
dragon claw or some kind of claw. I don't know. Yeah, you could definitely uh, break up the ice cubes with this thing, no problem. I like the way this one feels. All right, so that was a quick unboxing. First impressions, I like both of them. And we're going to put those there. In future videos, I'm going to zone in a little bit more on these two. And of course, you're going to see them in all kinds of videos. Maybe into the woods, we'll see. I don't know. Is it designed for that? Of course not, but I like them. Let me know what you think in the comments. We'll talk to you very soon. Have a great day. Bye for now.